So today I'm going to talk about how to add a pop of color to your everyday average neutral look. Um, something that's really always, I notice as a trend in the spring and summer is to do brighter colors, greens, blues, orange. Orange is always really big. So uh, I know this can be a little bit intimidating for some people who don't know how to um, maybe blend colors together or aren't used to wearing such bright colors. So I'm going to go ahead and show how to add an easy pop of color that I think is pretty comfortable for a lot of people to do. Um, so go ahead and keep watching and I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm going to use this um, Marsala, it's the color of the year, the 2015 color of the year Marsala. It's a red, basically a red tone um, eyeliner and so it's this metallic, it's from Sephora and it's a metallic red um, orange, see there's a swatch of it right there, um, color and so it's a liquid liner and it comes with this fine tipped brush. So an easy way to add color and you know I'm picking this color because I wanted to try it and um, you know it's a very pretty color I love warm tones but you can do this with blue or green or any other colors that you have um, and you just take it and you add it you know any way that you would apply your liquid liner you just want to do it a little bit thicker so you know add the line thicker than you normally would because the idea is you're adding a pop of color here. And as you can see, I already did neutral, like very neutral um, eyeshadow and everything in lips, just so that this might stand out a little bit more on the eye. So you're just adding the liner there. And I'm just trying to make sure it's really a lot thicker, kind of dramatic. Dramatic since you have you know, a neutral eye look, you can do a dramatic line here and you'll see what I'm going to do after. So don't, you know, freak out or think, oh gosh, no, I would never do that. It's too much. Um, so just do a thick, fairly thick line on your eye, thicker than you normally would with your liner. And this is um, pretty liquidy liner here, you know, summer, a little bit drier formula but this is pretty liquidy so I'm gonna go ahead and you know let that dry and I let it dry and then I'm gonna go ahead and add black eyeliner so you're gonna do a thinner line this is a Milani um, eye tech extreme liquid liner in black and you're gonna just put that along your lash line right over the color that you added and that's breaking it up so it's not you know just the color liner although you could do that too just add the color and just do it right along the bottom there. Just go ahead and add a black. Relatively thin, I mean in relation to that colored liner, thin line there. So, see there it's the color with the black. And then you go ahead and add any mascara that you'd like and I'll go ahead and do that and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I went ahead and added mascara and finished um, the top of my other eye. So you can see that on both eyes I have the Marsala color liner. Um, you know, you just apply a thick line and then you do a thinner line of black. And you can do this with any color, obviously. Um, you know, blue, green, purple, any color just to create a pop of color. So you're essentially putting it underneath, putting the pop of color underneath your black liner and you don't have to do a wing you can you know stop it if, if that's not your preferred way of applying eyeliner and you also don't have to use liquid you can use a pencil liner you can use um, an eyeshadow you can use whatever you want just to add color and then just do the liner on top that's an easy way to do it and it's a you know, more subtle but I'm gonna take it a step further and I'm gonna show you another way to add color but I'm gonna go ahead and, and add some color to the bottom of my eye and so I'm going to take a black liner, and this is the 24-7, Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil in Perversion, which is their blackest color. I'm going to just add that to my waterline, you know, top and bottom here. So just a black line, so, and, uh, you know, again, you can just do this bottom step, or you can do it in conjunction with the colored one that I have, or you can do the top, 
you know, do just black liner on top and do color it on the bottom. This is just another way to add a pop of color. So see, I just outlined in black. And then I'm gonna take this blue color from the Wet n Wild color icon in Blue Had Me At Hello. And, um, you know, I think in one of my other videos I talk about Wet n Wild and how they're great shadows and if you haven't tried the new formula or haven't tried them in a couple of years then go out and get it. This one is still available. I'm going to use this turquoise color. I really like the color turquoise uh, in you know in, with the orange kind of orangey red color that is the Marsala. So I'm just going to take a smudger brush um, here and this one it looks dirty. It's not. It's um it's a Delium Tools brush. It's just kind of like, it's kind of a pencil brush. And I'm going to go into that blue color there, the one from the Wet n Wild, that teal. It's actually a teal color. It's not really blue. And I'm just going to take that and smudge it right below where I put that liner, the black, the black um, eyeliner. And just smudge that there underneath. Just adding color there. And then I'm gonna go into a, a regular brush, just a blending brush, and just kind of blend it out a little, just the line, just a little. Not blending it down, just blending it out so the line isn't so harsh. And see, there's just that pop of color underneath the eye. So same, I'm just gonna blend this out here. And I'm going to add some mascara on the bottom. So, there we have it. We have some orange kind of color, pop of color on top, and a blue pop of color on the bottom. And so, there we go. Just give you two ways to add a pop of color for spring and summer. Um, you know, you can do this again with any color. You can add the blue to the top if you want and the orange to the bottom or, you know, do one or the other or do, you know, an orange color on the bottom also. Um, you know, however, you, I mean, the, the combinations are really endless when you look at it. Um, but for the purpose of this tutorial, I showed you two ways to add a pop of color to your eyes. So I hope this was helpful and maybe you learned something. If you did, go ahead and like or subscribe and you guys will be seeing me later. Okay, thanks. Bye.